you think your experience yesterday was with Dr. Shrikant? It was uh, very different. It was a two-way interaction, gaining knowledge from him, telling about what happens in our country and what happens here, Malab, discussing all those things. And with him, the discussion didn't feel like a task. Like one topic was a task to finish and then we jump off to the next topic. It was so smooth. It just, flowing. Yeah, it was just so smooth. Kept on going with various topics to indulge into, completely expansive and... It was a very good discussion with which we learned many things, even different ways of how it is done here and there. Well, it was great. I, I guess basically having access to 25 years of medical knowledge in a face-to-face -face exactly, learning experience. Exactly, exactly. Like a so wide variety, not a confined to one thing, a mm. wide variety of knowledge, mm. both ways. Right. Let's move on to Dr. Ashish Dr. Ashish, what do you think? I love how uh, casually it started from him asking us what do we expect from him in this session mm. to we going up to anti-aging and bariatric and how that was really good and it wasn't key what do we talk about now it just went from one topic to another mm. and coming from different backgrounds like government hospitals in India or private practice in India to UK GP system and secondary care we got one uh, topic and we spoke about four to five different scenarios so right. that was a good thing ki how it free flowing it was and how like we didn't stop for it except for the lunches we didn't stop anywhere like you know ki now what do we talk about yeah, yeah. it was just free flowing whatever topic we were coming in mind mm. we were just talking about it casually so that was really nice very nice i think the wisdom and experience that he shared was really yes, yes, yes. incomparable yes. right it showed what did you think dr tushar yeah first of all dr shrikant is a very phenomenal opening uh, open to all the questions and very much like uh, innovative talking about how to approach he first of all explained us and told us about how to approach diseases like which are very much dominant in India like diabetes and hypertension he also talked about rheumatology very well he, how he like went through that topic woven, woven with all the other subjects mm. he was like uh, open to uh, answer all our questions and queries and how he just explained everything and the difference between the Indian uh, approach towards the disease and the NHS approach towards the disease. Obviously that was a very much amazing and uh, eye-opening experience for me to attend his lecture. Great. I think what was also very uh, personally enriching for me was how he combined medical sciences and the need for lifestyle and holistic management of health. Yeah. You know, the conversations he had about systemic uh, Not enzymes. Not medicines or treatments, treatments. about yeah. lifestyle modification. Long, lifestyle yeah. modification yeah. is like he stressed upon which is... Uh, which, which we should consider in our health and system. It's a very basic thing everyone can do. They don't need to go to a doctor or they don't need to have medicines. Mm. It's a very basic healthy lifestyle. Exactly. Which exactly. Would they be. just need to be explained and told how to do it mm. because the things are available at their home itself. Yeah, exactly. That's all. That's all. Yeah. And simple lifestyle hacks can actually save them yes. years yes. and actually, give them years yeah. of good health. Right? You also came to know about the so the social problems in India are different hmm. and in UK are completely different. Right. Taking the same disease or the issue, hmm. how we deal it differently and how UK deals it's it very differently. Yeah. 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 I think also the need for pro, pre and probiotics, yes. right. which naturally Indian system has in form of curds and all that, but we don't use them any yes. longer. And the importance of having fermented vegetables, which are also very yeah. rich in most of the Asian cultures, yeah. but we are tending to drift away from them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think it was very, very holistic in terms of combining clinical science with good, healthy lifestyle.